Can permanently deleted emails be recovered? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com. This is actually not an uncommon question. In fact, here's an example. Are email messages and attachments located on email accounts with Yahoo, Gmail, and Hotmail really gone when you delete them? As with so many questions, the answer is, it depends. From your perspective, yes, they're really gone. But there are a couple of possibilities, a couple of scenarios where those permanently deleted emails could make their way back. So first of all, we do need to be clear. Sometimes delete is not delete. Sometimes it's move the email into a trash folder or move it into a recycle bin. So when you delete something, it's not really deleted. It's just moved into this other folder. That other folder typically has some kind of a, an expiry, a time frame on it, so that automatically after usually around 30 days, the email is really, honestly, physically, and irretrievably, from your perspective, deleted. So if you're in a situation where you've deleted something within the last 30 days, go take a look at the trash folder or the recycle bin, and you may find it. The other scenario, of course, is that Gmail has this, they kind of have a mindset of saving everything. They want you to save all of your email. What they recommend, and honestly, the way that I manage my email is rather than deleting, I hit archive. All that really does is remove the inbox label from the email, and all of that email continues to exist in my all mail folder. If you happen to use Gmail and you regularly use the archive button, then your email that you archived is in all mail. Have a look for it there. Sometimes delete really does mean delete. For example, if your email service doesn't use a trash folder or a recycle bin, or if you explicitly empty your trash folder or recycle bin, or with Gmail, you delete rather than archive, it too then goes into a trash folder. That email is deleted and you cannot recover it. Usually. Apparently this happens often enough that some email services have, I don't know what you want to call it, a window of opportunity after some of the emails have been removed from the trash folder to still claw them back. For example, in Outlook.com, if you open up the trash folder, if you actually look at the contents of the trash folder, somewhere there, usually at the bottom, is a link that says recover items deleted from this folder, which essentially means, you know, those things that were permanently deleted? Well, maybe we can get some of them back for you. Notice that they don't give you a time frame. This is very haphazard. I have heard it's around five days worth of email. I honestly don't know, but it's another straw to grasp at if you are attempting to recover an email that was deleted, I'll call it recently. Now, one scenario that I think a lot of people don't think about, and ultimately because it really doesn't help you and me, is that, of course, email services, they back up. What that means is, of course, that on some schedule, they're making copies of all of the email on all of their servers and squirreling those away somewhere in case something happens to those servers that they need to restore. However, one might think that if they've got these backups, you and I could just ask them, could you go grab this email that I had in my account three years ago? No. For one thing, we don't know how long the backups are kept. Probably not very long. And second, no, that's a lot of work. They're not going to do that. That takes individual an individual at that service dedicated to retrieving your email. It ain't going to happen. The bottom line is that the service's backups are for the service, not for you. However, there is yet another scenario that I think some people might be uncomfortable about. Most of us shouldn't be. But that's simply this. If law enforcement gets a court order and comes to the email service and says, hey, we need to see the email in this account on this date three years ago. 
if there's a backup from three years ago, is that service legally obligated to fetch the email? There's a lot of unknowns here. I suspect that they are. I also suspect that they don't have three-year-old backups. But that is a scenario that, like I said, some people might need to be concerned about. It's only in the case of, I said, like I said, law enforcement or some kind of a court order forcing the email service provider to retrieve something that normally you and I would not be able to directly retrieve. Now, I do want to say that this question actually can be completely avoided. If you want to save your email, back it up yourself. Own backing up your email. That way, if your email account goes away or email accidentally gets deleted online, you'll have copies of it in your backup. Normally, the approach that I recommend is to fire up a desktop email program like Thunderbird and have it connected to your email accounts using IMAP to automatically download email that comes and goes from your account. That way, you have backup copies of your email on your PC that you could then further manage, uh, remove out of your account, save locally, do whatever you wanted to do. But it basically becomes a backup that's in your control. Now, there is one, unfortunately, really obvious, but when we're in this position, usually not very helpful place that the email you're looking for could be. You sent that email to someone or it came from someone. That someone may still have the copy. So if it works out in your scenario, one thing to do is ask them if you can. Bottom line here, of course, be careful what you delete. Back up your email for a whole bunch of different reasons, but just fundamentally be careful what you delete and make sure that when you delete something, you really, really mean it. These days, there's actually little argument against just archiving the mail. Disk storage and online storage is so cheap and plentiful these days that archiving email, even because you might need it someday, actually can save you a lot of grief when that someday comes. For updates, for comments, for links related to this topic and more, visit askleo.com 5075. I'm Leo Notenboom, and this is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.